Hello, it's Shomu Yuri from Lviv with Xinhua News Agency. Today is March 24th. According to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, as of March 12th, 1300 Ukrainian troops have died in battle. According to the UN Refugee Agency, around 10 million Ukrainians have left their homes. 3.5 million of them have fled the country, almost all of them women and children, and 6.5 million have moved to other areas inside Ukraine. Deputy Governor of the National Bank of Ukraine, Sergei Nikolaychuk, in his interview for Global Times magazine said that being a central banker in the middle of a war means he spends less time focused on pure monetary policy, inflation targeting or adjusting the key policy rate. At its last meeting, the National Bank of Ukraine kept its key policy rate at 10%, despite the inflation rising to almost 11%, in February only. According to the State Statistics Service of Ukraine, Ukraine harvested almost 84 million tons of crops in the last year, in 2021. 65 million being reserved for export, around 25 million tons of wheat and 40 million tons of corn. Ukrainian Agricultural Analytics Agency has predicted that crop exports in 2022 will not exceed 18 million tons, with only 300,000 tons of wheat available for export from March to June. Minister of Agrarian Policy and Food Roman Leschenko has claimed that available crop area is to decrease more than twice, from 15 to 7 million hectares. This year, corn area is going to be around 3.3 million hectares compared to 5.4 million hectares last year. As for now, Ukraine has enough sunflower oil for 10 years and food and crops for two years stored up. With the exception of fertilizers, we have everything ready for the spring seeding.